Is it possible to be self-employed and employed at the same time? And if so, what are the considerations as well as the possible tax implications of making such a decision? This is exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video. If this is your first time here, my name is Tess and I'm a UK qualified accountant. And on this channel, we share topics to help business owners create profitable and financially sustainable businesses. If you want to see more videos from this channel, then do make sure you give this video a like. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. Now to start with, yes, it is possible to actually be self-employed and employed at the same time whilst working in the UK. A common scenario where this is very likely is where you are in a salaried full-time nine to five job, for instance, and you have a side hustle that you are doing outside of your employment contract with your employer. Okay, so it is very possible. However, it's important that you're aware of what the possible tax implications of being in such a situation like this could mean. Let's consider the method of taxation here first, okay? Because when you're employed, what essentially that means is that you are going to have your income taxed at source, meaning that your employer would actually have taxed your gross income, okay, and paid that income tax over to HMRC, as well as any national insurance contributions that would have needed to be paid over, okay? So you would be receiving that income on a net basis. Compared to if you actually have a side hustle or if you are in self-employment, you would not have had that income tax at source. Instead, what you would be required to do is to keep a record of your income and your expenses as a self-employed person. And you would usually be required to file what is known as a self-assessment tax return. Now, the deadline for self-assessment tax return is usually the 31st of January every year. Now, when filling out your self-assessment tax return, it's gonna be very important that you are able to include all the income sources that is relevant in your scenario, as well as any tax that has been deducted at source. Some of the information you may or may not need to include as part of filling out your self-assessment tax return is going to be information relating to, you know, your business's profits, you know, maybe any dividend income that you have or even a rental income. So the information that goes on your self-assessment tax return will very much differ depending on what you have going on as an individual and also what your business's situation is. Now, if you were to find yourself in this situation, it's gonna be very important that you maintain accurate records of all your income as well as expenses that are related to your side hustle or your business that you have going on on the side. Now, understanding your tax obligations when you're in a position that you're self-employed and employed at the same time can be quite confusing. But essentially, it's important to know that you are taxed on your total income, okay? Irrespective of the sources of where that income has been generated from. So as an example, if you were earning 25,000 pounds from your employment source, for instance, i.e. your nine to five, but you had a side hustle that was generating say 5,000 pounds on a yearly basis, then you will be taxed on a total of 25 plus five, which is 30,000, okay? So the full 30,000 pounds will be subject to income tax. So I already mentioned before, if you're in employment, then it's likely that your employer would have already deducted the relevant amount of income tax as part of their pay AYE system. Now it's important to note that the tax that you are charged when you're in full-time employment or in employment generally, is heavily dependent on what your tax code is, which is in contrast to how you are taxed when you are running a side hustle or your own self-employment. Now, national insurance contributions is another aspect of tax that you will need to understand, particularly if you're in a situation such as this, because when you're employed, basically what will happen is your employer will be paying over what is known as class one national insurance contributions over to HMRC, okay? And they will usually do this around the same time when they pay over any income tax deductions as well. Compare this to if you have self-employment going on on the side, it will be your responsibility to make what is known as class two and class four 
national insurance contributions and make those payments to HMRC. And this obviously highlights a key difference between being employed and being self-employed. Now, if you've made the decision that you do want to learn more about self-employment, then the first thing you're going to want to do is to learn about how to actually get registered for self-employment in the first place. And in order to do so, I have created a full step-by-step -step guide in this video right here to teach you everything you need to know regarding self-employment in the UK. Click here to watch it now.